So today I'm going to make a video in support of opening up more flow into your shoulders and actually getting more movement in the spine and involving the legs as we do that. So lots going to happen with this one. Great warm up exercise to stretch out the whole body basically. So let, let your right arm reach up towards the ceiling. Now I'm going to invite you to, the movement actually starts from the hips. So what we're going to do is I'm going to invite you to move your hip, your right hip forward, and allow the arm to drop and swing. As it comes back, the hip goes back. So the hip goes forward, hip comes back. Hip comes forward, hip comes back. And we're making a rotation with the shoulder. The leg collapses on that side, swing into that that movement. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, if this is too much for you, I'm going to invite you to let your elbow stay down and make the movement more with your elbow. So, hip comes forward. So it's a little bit softer movement in the shoulder without stretching so much. Hip forward, hip back. Yeah, so that's a little bit, a little bit easier for the shoulder. Let's try it on the other side. So lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Bring your focus to your left hip. Bring it forward. Drop. So hip comes forward. We collapse a little bit with the knee. Arm comes down. Bring the hip back. So the movement is moving from your center, moving from your hips. Opening up. Getting that more fluidity into the arm. And of course, feel free to do that, that more limited version. I'll show a few rounds of that. Really focusing on the elbow. The hand can just rest there on the chest. Good, hip forward, hip back. Boom, that'll help the movement. All right, so letting your arms come down. Get a sense of how there's a little bit more flow into the shoulders. And if you really want to challenge, let's do both arms at the same time. So lift both arms up. And we're going to focus by bringing your, your right hip forward. And the arms will drop down. They'll come to the side. The, the, Right hip will go back, the left hip will come forward, lift, bring the left hip forward and let the arms come back up again. So once again, nice and slow, right hip forward, left hip forward. Right hip forward, left hip forward, right hip forward, left hip forward. Great challenge, really good for the brain as well. Let the legs be involved too as you drop down, rise up, drop down, rise up. Good, a few more in this direction. Good, last one. Good. Just take a moment, just shake out your arms. Now let's switch with the other side. So, arms come up. Bring your focus to your left hip. Bring it forward. As you bring forward, the, the left arm will drop down, the right arm will drop behind you. Bring your right hip forward. So, and just notice how that's different for your body. Right. Left, right, left. Left hip forward, boom, down with the arm as the right hip moves forward and backwards. And 
Nice big movement, really pumps the chi. Three more. One, two, three, and let the arms float down. Let them come to your sides. Take a few nice deep breaths. Just feel everything starting to open up now, more flow. If you want something really active to get your chi going again, that's a great warm up exercise to open up the shoulders, get the spine moving, pump the legs. I hope that helps. Have a great day. Take care.